Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are in Orlando again. This time is different though. We are at Cabana Bay. It is an Orlando resort and we usually stay here for our brother-in-law's birthday every year. He always does a trip up to the parks, but we go and have a pool day here first and then to the parks later. Today we started the day with working out. They have a really great gym here. We try to make sure to use it whenever we do come here. So each time we've came, doesn't mean we have gone each time, but we plan to. Yeah. So we always bring our workout stuff and sometimes we actually go, but we just got some Starbucks. I got the um, spinach feta egg white wrap and then Kira got the impossible breakfast sandwich. It's actually really good it for is very not good. being meat. It tastes like mushrooms. It goes well with like the egg and cheese. It's really good. Yeah. And I also got, of course, because it is fall, the pumpkin stuff is back. So I got the pumpkin cream cold brew and it's 10 out of 10 delicious. Now we're gonna eat. Since we didn't show you last time, we'll show you the queue for the Velocicoaster. So we're back at the hotel now. We literally went into Islands Adventure just to go on Velocicoaster again. And we got to do the front row for the first time and it was wild to say yeah. the least. We definitely like the back row more. It feels more like whipped around and more, what would you say, more crazy? Yeah, like the tail whip kind of from like all the spins and like inversions and stuff like that definitely gets you more in the back end of the, the, I guess, ride vehicles or whatever. Yeah. But um, if you're on the front, you feel the launch points more. Yeah. For sure. And like, it's cool because you get to see everything without yeah. like a head in front of you. So cool. We just ate and now we are waiting for Sean and Kayla to come and we're going to do a pool day. So we hope you enjoy some of that footage now. enjoyed our pool day just a little bit of it we had a really good time hanging out with sean and kayla so at cabana bay they do offer this little scare thing for the halloween horror night season yeah so basically in the lobby they have kind of like a lounge bar area and they're doing like a halloween horror nights themed lounge bar and they have all the drinks that you can find in the park at that lounge so you can go ahead and like get, you know, whatever drinks, say you're not going to the parks and you want to experience it a little bit, you can go and get a drink there. And they also have a photo opportunity on the second story in one of the, I don't know, like a meeting conference room or something like that. They set up a whole backdrop and theme it to look like Halloween Horror Nights and you have like a photo op. And yeah, it's really cool. We did it a couple years ago 
they had like a Stranger Things photo op. This year they have a Jack the Clown, kind of like Halloween Horror Nights icons photo op. So we're gonna go do that before we head to the park. So we're now going to head to our little photo area and then we're gonna go to the park. And this time we're gonna be doing a rating on all the houses and we'll give it a scale of one to 10. Alright guys, so we just got done with um, Bride of Frankenstein Lives and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Sorry for the lighting by the way, it's the yeah. best we can find right now. Very dark. Like we said in the last video from Halloween Horror Nights, we said it was very yeah. dark, but we're giving you the content that you came here for. Our 1 out of 10 for these both these houses. I'm going to give Bride of Frankenstein uh, like a 5 out of 10. What are you giving it? I have five to agree, a 5 out of 10. Also because I'm really excited for Hill House and I want to leave that for the 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be, but I have a feeling it will. So I don't want to rank anything too high to compete with it directly. Yeah. And Texas Chainsaw Massacre was a huge surprise for us yeah. tonight. I'm giving that a 7 out of 10. We got scared a lot in that house tonight. Honestly, I have to agree again. I know we thought we were going to have different opinions, but we're so similar that it only makes sense that we have the same yeah. opinion on the houses. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we'll give you guys an update on the next couple houses. So, I don't know if you can hear us pretty loud over here, but we did um, Revenge of the Tooth Fairy, and then we did Halloween Horror Nights Icons. And uh, for Tooth Fairy, I think I'm gonna go six out of 10. It got me a few times, but uh, yeah, what do, you, what do you think? I'm thinking five out of 10. For Icons, I'm going like a seven and a half. I think it was slightly better than Texas Chainsaw. I definitely got scared a lot. A good amount of times in that, so seven and a half for me. I agree, plus they had so much diversity with different characters. Yeah. Which was my problem with Tooth Fairy. It was very much the same character throughout. And I wanted to see different kinds of creepy Tooth Fairy. Yeah. We'll, we'll give you another update. House. Yep. We just got done with a couple houses. We actually stopped to get some food and to get another drink. And by the way, if you guys are here and you want to get some really good food, there's a place, I forgot what it's called, but it's called like Tea Party. It, it's like a, uh, kind of like a hut, it's, like food it's place. It's near E.T. across yeah. from the Loaded Tater place. Really, really good. They have like grilled cheese style stuff like that. Um, we got like a brisket stuffed grilled cheese. Amazing, amazing. Seriously, so we're good. gonna have to remake it. Yeah, we're gonna try to make it at home because it was that good. But anyway, so we did Scary Ohio and we did Wicked Grove. Scary Ohio, for me, didn't really cut it. I thought it was very at, like subpar. I'm giving it like a three out of 10. I give it a two out of 10. It wasn't that good. I, I give it three out of 10 because they did have some really good callbacks to the old houses, but it just didn't, it just didn't cut it for me. Um, Wicked Growth, nine out of 10. Nine Absolute sure. nine out of ten. Sure. It was fantastic. There's pumpkins everywhere. Loved it. Halloween to the max. Like it was insane good. It got me about like ten times. There were so many scares. Really great theming. Smells were amazing. Nine out of ten. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's it's S tier is what we were just saying. S tier. Yeah. S tier. So we're about to go into Puppet Theater and I think Beetlejuice or Hill House, and then we'll give you guys an update after that one. All right. So we just did Puppet Theater and Hill House, right? Haunting, yeah, Hill, Haunting House. Hill House. Puppet Theater, great. Love the theming. For me, I'm gonna go six out of 10. I'm gonna have to agree. Yeah, it was really cool, but 
We missed a lot of scares. That has to do with the score, but six out of 10 for sure. Haunting of Hill House, 10 out of 10, 10, out of 10. like by far. The best house tonight. It's we very still, accurate to the show. Yeah. So if you watch the show, you will love this house. It is to a T what the show is. And we have two more houses, so who knows? We might get another 10 rating, but that house was awesome. The effects were insane. I got scared like 10 times. Kira got scared a bunch yeah. of times. It was really good. So 10 out of 10 on that one. We'll give you guys another update after the next two. The last two houses we did were Beetlejuice and Legendary Truth Case Files. What's your score here? Beetlejuice was really good. Um, it was very much like the movie, but not scary at all. So yeah. I have to give it like a five just because it followed the storyline so well. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna go five out of 10 on that one. It did follow the movie to a T, but again, it's just not scary. It was fun, but definitely a lot of like missed opportunities for just like a little scaring here and there. Very good house though, Legendary Truth. I'm gonna give it like a seven out of 10. I got scared a lot on it actually. They have a narrator going on throughout the entire thing. And it's like all of his short stories are made into horror and it's super cool to like, yeah see because you got like a poster before you go into like the area and then you get the horror from that little short story so it's really interesting super cool i feel like i gotta give it a six all right yeah so she's six i'm a seven out of ten on the last house the legendary truth house that's pretty much all the houses we did everything tonight yeah we're we got also literally every house yeah good night to you all and uh we'll see you in a few minutes we'll see you in a few minutes <laughs> That's it for this week's video. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed coming with us to Halloween Horror Nights for the second time. This time with us giving our one out of 10 rankings on each of the houses that we went into. Unfortunately, we can't film inside of the houses. That is a big no-no at Halloween Horror Nights. Otherwise, we would have definitely done that. So if you do end up going to Halloween Horror Nights, which I highly suggest, by the way, um, if you do end up going, definitely leave a comment or even message us, or if you have any questions about it, we'll be happy to answer. It's one of our favorite things to do. It's kind of like, it's our thing. Like when we were dating and through marriage, it's gonna be our thing. We love going. So we're definitely well-versed and uh, we'd love to hear what you guys thought of this year's event. Can't wait for next year. Kind of sucks we have to wait a whole nother year, but that's how things go. That's it for this week's video. We try to post videos once a week. We were doing it Wednesday slash Thursday, but we are very busy people and we post when we can and when we have content. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope to see you on the next one. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification. It is right next to the subscribe button. Leave a comment letting us know what you thought and we hope to see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.